Ollie the Lone Red Squirrel Written by Larissa Soares Illustrated by Olga Volgina Every morning, Ollie keeps watch from a tiny window in his mighty oak tree. He patiently waits, hoping to catch a glimpse of the playful squirrels that come to gather nuts. Ollie scurries closer. His cheerful voice calls out, Good morning! May I join in your scampering and gathering? One of the squirrels gruffly chitters, You're not like us. Go away! Ollie's heart sank. He quietly turned to go home. Keeping watch from his tiny window, Ollie noticed the squirrels had stopped scampering about. The frisky little friends had collected many nuts, run up every tree, shaken every leaf, and jumped over every branch. They had run out of things to do. Ollie thought for a moment. He knew they would have fun together and wondered if he should approach the squirrels. Yes, Ollie would try again. As he ran out, down came an acorn from the mighty oak. It bounced and rolled toward Ollie's home. The other squirrels saw Ollie and quickly ran away. They scurried up a tree and looked back to laugh at him. <laughs> Go away, Ollie. We don't want to be with you. You're not like us. Ollie turned away and hurried home in tears. <laughs> this time, something was waiting for him. Ollie's oak tree had been standing strong for hundreds of years. It provided food for the squirrels and gave them shelter from many storms. Today, it sent Ollie a reminder that he was not alone. Through his salty tears, Ollie saw the acorn that had rolled near his home. It had a little face that was smiling at him. Ollie wished the other squirrels would be friendly. Although the acorn smiled at him, Ollie needed a little time to feel better. While Ollie was thinking, he noticed the distinct scent of worn leather. Sadness turned to curiosity, and he scurried outside to investigate. The sound of snapping twigs came closer. Ollie could feel the vibration of footsteps. Suddenly, shoes that have seen much of the forest came to rest in front of him. In that moment, Ollie began to see the color in his world, and then he looked up, way up. Ollie and the boy looked at each other. Through their eyes, they connected as kindred spirits. This was Ollie's lucky day. The forest had sent gifts to heal his lonely heart. The other squirrels knew they had been unkind and hung their little heads. They were sorry for laughing at Ollie and didn't know what to do. Ollie saw that the squirrels felt bad, but he knew how to help. Ollie brought the acorn outside to show his new friends. How wonderful it is to be kind and share with others. Ollie could feel the magic in a smile as he held the acorn. His heart was truly happy. Ollie's world, which was always dark and sad, revealed its true colors. From that moment on, his days were filled with sunshine. And as the forest began to change, the leaves of the mighty oak turned to yellow, orange, and red. The end.